a democracy for less than two decades, South Africa is now a vibrant country with 48 million citizens of all colors and creeds. A government-issued official identification booklet is a critical part of everyday life here. Required for every citizen from the age 16 onward, it not only ensures access to public services, but is needed for transactions as simple as buying a car or even renting a video. And it's based on the most secure form of personal identification, a singularly individual fingerprint. In the past, applicants at a local home affairs office like this one here in Pretoria would normally submit a paper form supporting documents and then be fingerprinted for accurate identification. Over the years, the government's archives had amassed some 45 million paper files. In addition, each fingerprint had to be manually verified in a time-consuming process. The Home Affairs Office felt it was time for a change. The 21st century solution to this challenge was the introduction of the Home Affairs National Identification System Project, otherwise known as HANIS. HANIS would not only replace the current paper system with a cutting-edge digital database, but also needed to ensure that every single new and existing fingerprint could be properly processed, verified and accessible in real time. NEC had the answer. With accuracy rates of more than 99.9%, NEC's award-winning Automatic Fingerprint Identification System, or APHIS, is one of the most cutting-edge fingerprint recognition technologies in the world. Every fingerprint is different. Every fingerprint has different free structure, and we utilize such minutia in the matching. The better the software is at recognizing such differences, the better the accuracy there is in validating an identity. APHIS also works fast, processing as many as 70,000 matches in a single working day. Thanks to NEC's breakthrough APHIS technology, the HANIS project has now produced the world's largest citizen identification database. NEC has provided us with an amazing amount of technological advancement. I use the word to describe the system that we have with them as having catapulted us, taken us, leapfrogged us beyond expectations. Collaboration between NEC and local South African engineers was key to the success of the project. I think it's important for a company like NEC to impart their knowledge to, to the local people, um, to empower the local people to be able to maintain the system and to continue with the system going forward. Queues are now shorter, bureaucratic delays reduced, and the extraordinary accuracy of the system has dramatically reduced the possibility of fraud or identity theft that's common throughout the world. But for South Africa, this next generation digital database platform also means something more. In the past, South Africa's citizens were divided by race or belief. Today, everyone is integrated into a single digital archive recognized solely through NEC technology and just one universal human feature, their fingerprint. Symbolically it goes a long way because it addresses a lot of barriers people might have, prejudices people might have had before, but now everyone has a sense of belonging to the country. Empowered by innovation, NEC.